Anyway, um, let me get this checking. I made an agreement with my mother that as long as she keeps the movie de or the TV down and she keeps to herself that I can stream. Oh, one person's already watching this stream. Holy cow, that's a little quick. I haven't even gotten there yet. Okay, yep. Hello, Jesus. Why are you saying, oh, no? Why are you saying, oh, no? You literally got here before I did again. You're not late. <coughs> oh, man. Anyway. Oh, you gotta go somewhere? Well... Sorry. Wish you could watch it along with me. You can watch it whenever I'm done. Okay? <laughs> Hopefully. Anyway. Ugh. Hello, brothers and sisters of YouTube. My name is Joker Fanatic Hughes, and today I bring you some Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, I will be honest, I have not played Red Dead Redemption 1. I know I'm gonna get some hate for that. Ha, <laughs> shush. Uh... I just never got around to it, uh, and I know the whole story of it, so I thought, well, since I already know the story of what happens, then there's no real reason for me to play it, because it'll be like, oh no, the major twist that had everybody crying, oh no, I, I already know it, <laughs> uh, it won't be emotional for me, yeah. But this one, I know nothing about it other than you can customize your clothing and your guns amazingly, and I love customization of weapons and clothing. I love it. Especially when it's extremely in-depth. I love it. Jeez, I sound like I'm just gonna gush all over this. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That wasn't good. Mm. Clear your throat before you talk, Josh. Um... Okay, you should be able to individually distinguish all the segments in the bar below the logo. Oh, I thought you were going to have something very light gray on the uh, piece, but no, you didn't. Okay. Okay, so individually distinguish each of the bars. Okay, I can about distinguish that one. All the segments in the bar below the logo. The Rockstar logo itself should be visible. Um. Excuse me, but that's the brightest it can go, and I still can't see that logo. Um, excuse me. Think you got a problem here. I can in I could individually distinguish the segments on the bar below earlier, but I can't see the Rockstar symbol. Yeah, what the heck? Is it just that my TV's facing directly at me? Because, like, it's... Okay. There's barely visible on that Rockstar logo for me. Barely visible. I'll set it for that. Holy shit, that just went dark. Holy cow. Subtitles, mission only, off or on? On, and thank you for having this setting. It helps us YouTubers so much. Audio... Headphones, because I'm wearing headphones. Oh, this already feels good. And yes, I've seen some playthroughs for like the first two hours of the game. Um, Bikeman, you're watching? <laughs> Damn. But, um, no, I've seen playthroughs for the first two hours of the game, so I know the first two hours. And I know that this is a... Is a uh, town where you're gonna have a shootout where the O'Driscolls are planning something, I think. Anyway, let's get right into the game. Also, I've got some apple juice here to kind of make me feel like I'm drinking alcohol, because, uh, for one, I'm not old enough for alcohol, and for two, I don't like alcohol. At all. I, I don't like it at all. Jesus. I had my share when I was younger. I don't want any more. Ew. And by the way, I'm a very open person. I'm honest. I'm down to ground. Or, you get what I mean. I'm 
I try to be as honest with you guys as possible, and I hope no judgment comes. <laughs> if the cops are like, what did you do? That's when I go, let's be honest, almost all the teens my age have done it. Shut up, police officers. Almost everybody has. Get over it. Just be glad that I hate the stuff, okay? <laughs> By 1899, the age of outlaws and gunslingers would, was at an end. Would at an end. America was becoming a land of laws. But we're the lawless. Even the West had mostly been tamed. A few gangs still roamed, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. Also, bikemen, I know you personally in real life, so I'm, I'm like, but have you? Because, like, you seem like the person who might have, but I don't know. Eh, who cares? But you have to admit, half the people in our school probably have. Red Dead Redemption 2. I may or may not try to have a cowboy voice through this, because it's all about them cowboys. Let's hunt me some. And by the way, whenever I'm robbing a train, please do not make train jokes. I know you're going to try to. Ooh. Just seeing this scene makes me... Oh, chilly. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Bikeman, I know tons of people in our school who have done, who have drank alcohol and much worse. I know tons, more than I can count. So. More than half of the males in our school probably have. Maybe half of the females. Chapter 1. Coulter. That's an interesting C, by the way. Phil Hooker. Considering that uh, names were always made back in the day based on the job you had, I feel sorry for your ancestry. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. Well, we damn. Do, we need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. John Arthur, Marston? We're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. Yes. Just for a short bit. I don't see what other choice we No, have. obviously John Hind. Or Hind, or Listen. however he wants his name said. Listen to me, Ollie, for a moment. Now, we've had... Well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy. Jenny. Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could 
throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it gladly. But we are going to ride out and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. All right. Let's head out. Ain't sure what we're going to find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. We hope. Bridge coming up. Take it easy. Oh, so, yeah. Davey, too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we Understood. don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Understood. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. Oh man, that needs to quiet down. So, do you think it was a trap in Blackwater? That many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. But there was money on that boat, all right. Lots of it. I stashed what we took with all our money in town right before we fled. Hey. I think I see something up the path. Oh. You up ahead. Who's there? I see a lantern, but that's it. Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? Hmm. I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Ooh. Sure. Place is blazing with that. light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow that, me. That brought back some How's bad Davey memories. Doing? He didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Uh. Davey was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. But that brought back some bad memories, cause I knew a man Micah. named Micah before. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope. But yeah, I, I knew a man named Micah once. Things didn't turn out well for him.
Yeah. I, I, for me, it only says that there's one viewer, including me. So, like, I don't, I don't know that you're still there, but would it be okay for me to say what happened there, or should I just stay quiet on that matter, Bikeman? Because I don't want to be disrespectful. I would only say what happened, but I don't want to be disrespectful to him. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. I, I can't control my horse. Okay. I'll, I'll say it when we get a free time. Okay. Let's head down there. Um. But now, Micah, he's still kind of a fresh subject on uh, lots of people at my school's minds. Uh, uh, last year it was. Um, and I'm only going to say what I heard happened. Uh, I do not say that this is in any way factual at all. And please understand that to anybody, this may be disturbing. So please, viewers, if you are easily perturbed, please skip forward to after this pause screen. But, um, no, what what had happened was, as I heard it, uh, him and his friends were gonna go hunting. And so, uh, in his room, Micah was, uh, like, polishing his gun or something. I don't know. Uh, I heard it was a twenty two rifle. Uh, I'm only saying what I heard, and Bikeman, if you'd like to put in any corrections to what you heard, you may. But, um, yeah, and I heard that the friends were downstairs in the living room talking with the mother, and then all they heard was a bang, and they came up and found Micah, um, yeah. And to what I heard, it was up through the bottom of the chin. No, I'm not gonna say if I knew what it was. Everybody in my school was wondering if it was suicide or if it was an accident, I don't know. I didn't know the man personally at all. I didn't know him at all. I only saw him once. And to what I heard, he had some weird thoughts about me. Uh, but, yeah, I didn't know him at all. Uh, more than half of the school attended his funeral. But, yeah. Did I get everything right in that area? Because I was trying to be as vague as possible and only the things that I heard. Um, but, yeah. And that's what happened. And so, like, last year, a kid named Micah went, that happened. And now, seeing this guy stroll in named Micah, I'm like, oh. Oh. Because it just flashed that to my mind. Okay. He didn't die instantly. He died in the hospital the next day after that. I don't know how he would have survived that. A shot from under the chin. Uh, I don't know how he would have survived to the hospital, but... I guess he did. Okay, then. But yeah, that's just why that name struck me as off when the character strolled on screen. I was thinking, oh... Okay, my health is displayed on the lower left. Okay. At least you're introducing me to the HUD. The outer bar shows your remaining health. Ah, understood. Uh, no, actually, from what I heard, the people at his funeral actually saw where they tried to clean... You know how they try to clean up the body? They actually said they saw the patch under Let the bottom of his chin. We don't uh, these Camo folks. Man actually did say that he saw the patch under the chin. So you two get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. But yeah. Yeah. That's why nobody knew if it was a suicide or not. If it was in his mouth, everybody would have guessed that. It was a suicide, but nobody knew it. It could have been an accident. It could have been suicide. We don't Hello? know. Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. 
Um, yeah. So we don't know. It was from under the chin. God knows what happened there. I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. That's a lot of people for one. Place. What? There's a corpse right here. Oh. There's a body in the wagon. I hear you. Just. I already knew what the button was before you prompted me. I think you should go now, buddy. I hate how you have to hit the button again for pulling back the hammer. Ha ha. Yeah, I might want to reload. Excuse me a bit. Mother. Give me that face, boy. There it is. Oh, you do not make a run for it. Where are you at? A distant threat, you say? Ain't nobody making a run for it out here. Oh, Hannah. Ha ha ha, headshot. Gotcha. Let's see if I'm letting you live. Can I not search their bodies? Okay. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. <laughs> of course you need whiskey, you cowboys. Nothing on their nightstand. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. While empty. Oh. Okay, health cure. Eat a provision to restore some health core. Okay, I'll eat some salted beef. Okay. This is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we uh, get back. Walk the way I wish I don't you really to. Want us to split up. Anything over here? A photograph. Uh, looks like the poor bastard was married too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. <laughs> I'm going to start packing the horses. You, you, you keep looking. You could eat it if you really were desperate, man. Meet me out here when you're done. Understood. Some oat cakes. That'll be great. Canned vegetables, assorted biscuits. Ooh, search the cabinet. Gotta <laughs> take whatever it is. Should be able to get plenty of food. Some canned fruit. Uh, let's make sure nobody knows we've been here. Close the cabinet. Okay, I think we're ready to go check upstairs. Yeah. A nice loft. Everybody likes lofted place. Revolver cartridges and smoke cakes. We're good. Okay, I think we're good.
Oh, is there another loft over there? That'd be cool to check out, but there's no ladder to it, so... Oh, well. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Okay. Investigate the barn. Understood. Oh, Jesus. See if I'm gonna let you stay down or stay up. Sorry. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Comb is. Oh, this son of a bitch would talk. Where's Comb, O'Driscoll? With the others at an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. Okay. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. Please. Please. Spare me. Normally, if I was feeling like you, being a... You won't see me again, Porter. They don't tell me nothing, I swear. You know, normally, if I was trying to be a cowboy, I'd kill you, but... I'm a good man. Go. Come on. I'll spare you. Get the hell out of here. Go. Pick up the gun. Mind if I just, uh, oh no, I can't actually equip it. I was gonna shoot him in the back. Anyway, if we're on the terms of being honorable, I'm not exactly high on that standard. Whoa there. Easy. Yeah, good boy. Easy. Here we go. Come on, horsey. Okay. You let me go, huh? So all the little bastards scurrying off. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Tie him up over there, Arthur. Oh, heck, somebody's in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why up there, Gage? Leave her alone. I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them old Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Are you. No, oh, jeez. Micah, what did you do? Yes. Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on. Now. Yeah. Oh. Are you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. 
It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your yeah. name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... Why do I know that name from somewhere? Sadie Adler. my husband. Dark Angel, you are nowhere near Big Dick. Sorry. Hey! Somebody's coming! Boy, it's put like your gun does. down. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh. We found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul... You are Miss a king Sam, at being a dick. Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink of something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Okay then. Ah. Oh Jesus Christ, you're trying to blind me? Shit. Ouch. I'm playing this in a dark room, damn it. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur. How you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Have you? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. He looked for me. This is John Marston we're talking about. Thank I wouldn't you. hold him to those standards. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, huh? he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. I like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Ah, my damn knuckles. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Yeah! Sorry, I was looking at comments. Let's cross. 
See, they continue up that way. I would try to go over the edge of the you cliff, but I don't feel like it. Tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Oh, shut up. Here, yeah, I'm a city slicker. Yeah. Shut up. Dutch killed a girl in a I grew up in way. the country. I just but it was a bad am more of a city boy. Like him, I grew up around drunks and rednecks. Davy got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Eso. That snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Yeah, I can tell you're a redneck, cause you used I'm actually an redneck. Watch yourself, it's not very wide here. <laughs> okay, see ya, Dark Angel. Come on, boy. Thanks for checking in, dude. Struggle. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Now let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Oh, I see something here. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. Yeah, I'd guess he's right up here. Uh, I can't go any farther on my horse. Let's go. Oh, mount my horse, you say, well, the fucker couldn't go any farther earlier. Who's to say he can go any farther now? Oh yeah, now he goes. Yeah, sure. He's coming from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I grab that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? What? You say shotgun? Okay, but I'd much prefer a pistol. Come on, go. Don't go slow, your buddy might be in danger. Come on. Then again, this is John Marston we're talking about. God knows what all he might run into. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is so steep you would not be walking cleanly down that. You'd be rolling down it. And then right over the edge. Jesus, what got you all the way out here, John? Jeez. Careful. There's a drop here. No shit. It's not like I didn't see you just drop. Your head here. Okay, in what fucking world did you climb all the way around here and hey, what for? Good now. Jeez. Real Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. 
Sorry, but I gotta check my satchel. Okay, canned kidney beans. Eat some of those, that'll get me going. There we go. We're coming, John. My god, what got you this far out, Marston? Jesus. One sec. Jesus. John, what got you all the way out of here, man? How far have we been going now? Keep moving, then. Come on. I had guessed you were up that Don't hill, but worry. dang, you're a little farther than I even expected. Oh, I hear him on the left. That's John. We're coming. Down here. Yeah, Marston, we're on our way. I hope that's Marston. That was there. All right. Hot down, Marston. Yep, it's Keep Marston. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Yeah. Are you coming? Yeah, I'm going. Oh Jesus. Oh hello. Look up there. Parf. You head for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. Okay. Alright, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. Wolves, you wanna pop out? this way you won't be scared away from us I will shoot you get too close to me hey wait a minute ow take a shot in the head Okay, let's get going before any more of these bastards show up. Okay. Some people are trying to talk to me over messenger and I don't have time and I'm like, really? Come on. One second. Okay. I told her I'm streaming right now and to please wait. Come on then. Let's get back to the others. Yeah, let's go. Ah. I don't feel too good. 
Oh no. You better not be suffering from Spider-Man. Hey, I didn't tell you to slow down. I wish it had like an auto feature to just keep going. See if I'ma let you go. Oh, oh, hell no! Oh, let me. Didn't fire when I told it to. Ha ha. Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. You should ride in the water for a bit. <laughs> Try to lose a scent. Shush, Backman. Right back Shush. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better I told her I'm streaming into this. Leave me alone. So, freezing, bleeding, Starving? Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Come on! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Yeah, somebody able to help John, please? Is everybody in here deaf? We Come on! Help. We need some help here! Come on, help him down. You're alive! You're alive! Right, here we go. There we go. Oh. Ay, oh. careful, idiotas! It's his leg! Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. you. Any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not 